I'm Lone Wolf from Nozzle Recordings, and this is Terror Time in Cudville. <laughs> So at the moment I've just been doing, I've just started on doing the introduction for this actual series, um, which I've just put the, the visuals together yesterday and I've come out with something which could work so I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm doing the music for it, I've started the music for it just now, of which I'm going to layer lots of individual layers of what I think would sound good with it um, together and then once I've got a sort of rough idea of the different layers involved, I don't know how many, there could be seven, eight layers, there might be nine or ten, there might be, we'll see how it goes. Then I'll string them all out in a line, I'll render that, and then I'll re put them into the laptop to play, to scratch back in. So I'll scratch all the different layers back in, and then hopefully this should be a really good uh, bit of music for the intro titles of which you live just now seeing so this, the titles that are there this is what I'm doing now so it's a bit of a time travel thing um, so yeah you've seen it but I don't know what the future holds yet because I haven't done it yet so here we are so this is us doing it and I've just played in a couple of a couple of layers one's like a uh, one's like a sweepy swooshy breathy type sound and then overlaid with some kind of um, sort of synth mode but it's, it's, it's low down so there's a sounds more of a, like a bassy style thing and then I've just just gonna put this new layer in which is quite the like a Like a, that that horror that horror type sound, you know. We just have a play about with sort of that, and then again because this isn't, this isn't going to be the like the final um, the tune of it. It's just just different samples just to get an idea. So you can really just sort of it's almost like slapping lots of paint on, um, slapping down loads of paint at once, and then. Um, seeing what you come up with later sort of thing like jigsaw pieces being placed down and then you know you just sort them out later so this is what sort of this is it's the soft it's the physical sort of sounds I was I'm sort of looking for really as opposed to like playing the melodies a lot of that can be done as long as I just do it in roughly a lot of it a lot of that can be done when I've got the turntable, um, but the, the actual sound quality of what it physically sounds like, so like that that classic retro uh, sounds um, really quantize it. I don't want it too quantized because it's good when you just have it um, slightly loose, so it's not as mechanical sound. There's a bit more of a live feel to it. It's always good. So that sounds quite good. So. I'll, what I usually do is if I, if I like a little piece I've just put in, I'll maybe just knock it over to the side and then uh, and then have a go over something else and then I usually just hone it down. I was going to go and look for some old classical records which you've got loads of, which will have loads of dust and, and grime on the um, at the start or at the end, but I've just got with the scratchy seal. Super seal it works. So all I'm gonna do is set this set this off and record just some of the dirt and grime on the start of the record here, I think. And then just use that as an overlay on on the um, on the sort of cleaner sounding MIDI samples that I've just played in. So here we go. So it's recording now. So. A bit. So I'm just about to do the the blood splat for it, or when the when the sword hits the um, hits the titles. So I've got some different sound effects I'm going to make. 
um, the blood splattering sound. I've already got the the shing of the of the sword, which I've recorded before anyway. But I'm just going to do some fresh sort of blood and uh, hits. Some crunches. I've got some old um, monkey nuts, which I've just been eating this week, actually. So I'll just use this, some of them, and then yeah, I'll record them in, and then that's them laid up. Should be enough for a few of those. I forgot to get some fruit today. So I'm gonna see what I can do out of this without the fruit. Um, use some of the nuts as well. I might put the fruit, the nuts in there, in the towel, but it'll be, um, it'll be more muffled sound. There won't be as much high pitch. So just record some crunch as well. I'll hoover all this up later. Need quicker sound for like a like a quick hit sort of thing. I'll well, see how we get on with that. I've been recording in the different layers for this. Uh, the stabbing sounds. Um, I've had an apple biting in as well. So I've, I think I've probably got about four, five, six, seven. You know, about sort of eight eight or nine layers it in all of them so then this is what it sort of comes to and again you've you, you've heard all this on the on the uh, original uh, intro but obviously I I haven't seen it yet so anyway um. so that's three sections the three slices and then the last part there's a bit more crunch where it's sort of been cut straight through the uh, through the words it was like you know, like more limbs coming off or <laughs> body chopped in half or something um, so that's how it is at the minute with that and then so now I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna scratch up those samples I, I recorded on the other um, on the other program because I've done these in two separate programs so that this is um, this is Pro Tools I'm using for this. <clears throat> it's miles easier to be chopping stuff up, pardon the pun. On um, on Pro Tools, it's, it's miles better than, for me anyway. I think most people it's just generally Pro Tools to use. Um, so now I've put that in, it's just like a sort of guide of how I think it's going to sound. Now I'm getting the good part of doing all the scratches on the uh, on those sort of retro sounds. Um, but I did that, I recorded that in on. Uh, logic so I have to just go in piece them all out and then render that then I'll put them on the um, on the tractor and then I'll start scratching them in so that's what I'm going to do now <laughs> 